Hey guys, what's up? By Zach the Tron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, and we're showcasing some nice town hall on attacks, some variety stuff we don't see every day, but stuff to consider when you're planning your attacks. Kind of goes nice with that base identification video I put out uh, pretty recently. I'm getting a lot of these videos cranked out the same night because uh, I have to take this quiet time in the dorm uh, preciously and uh, and to take advantage of it when I have it. So I got some time to record some videos and um, got some good content to show. So this one is going to be this five golem avalanche that um, I haven't seen in a long time. I uploaded a video of the seven golem avalanche which I did um, on, on this Town Hall 9 uh, developer build. I tested it out a little bit and it actually worked out pretty well. So check out that video. Uh, you can just search it up, the seven golem avalanche by none other than One Hive Gazette uh, a few months ago probably. Um, that was a fun video and some fun attacks there. But this one, maybe a little bit more practical. Um, five golems, not, not seven. Um, some CC bowlers as well. And the reason is the dead space. You can see um, the way the defenses are laid out, it's really, um, kind of giving you some nice free non-flanking areas that aren't gonna aren't gonna mess up your kill squad this jump spell connecting that expo this next jump spell around the base those builder hut compartments no teslas in them it looks like and because of that can just let those golems just sit in front and just tank almost endlessly the only problem is that queen uh, engages the king right there forcing him to go for a wall kind of uh, fragmenting this little kill squad that was developing but the golems nonetheless are still moving forward with some wizards and barbs behind the queen's kind of sitting central now but she's also going to stay back behind the golems for the most part she's not taking any damage yet because there is that dead space in the middle there's the next jump. Time somehow becomes an issue, even though it's only like a, you know, your heroes are down at the beginning, most of your cards are down, those wizards, um, you can still run out of time, which is surprising, um, especially on a non-defensive targeting uh, composition, like not hogs, not loons, um, but just straight up like troops, you can run out of time. So a true hero here with the three star. Queen will step up and grab that last can. That's like the last thing she does before she goes down, I believe. I don't think she'll get that next can, if I remember correctly. And then um, the golems have all exited the base by this point, and they're basically just gonna take, oh, she gets one more cannon. Yeah, she did, nice. Um, probably wouldn't have mattered too much, but at this point has that last bit of golems. Um, probably envision the golem staying inside the base, but they do they do exit the base. Um, I think they took one of the jumps out instead of uh, using it to bring the golems in. The ones that were inside took it out, so that can happen. But as long as the wizards and like the DPS stays behind the golems, that's the key to this attack. So um, seems like this attack lasted years. <laughs> just how slow it is. Um, I don't know if it was close on time. I did not check what. Um, was the timestamp as it started, but uh, we can check real quick. I assume it was pretty close here. Uh, yeah, within 10 seconds it looks like. So um, that's an issue with this one, but um, it can it can work on certain bases for sure. Let's move on to number 20 here, just down one. Um, another a true hero, and I like this one because the offset queen don't always you know think Skelly spell. It's more suicide king or something. Um, really nice here, CC Lure just sends in a few loons um, to get to lure the prospective CC, the potential CC that might come out, but um, there's nothing that can target his loons in there, um, so he knows, okay, good, I can just kind of use my heroes, um, and the CC will just never come out as long as the heroes stay far enough away, so... Nice stuff there, queen steps up, getting some good value on the back end of this base. This is going to make the back end a lot softer for the loons as they come through. And um, we'll make it so he only needs one heal spell. That's all he needs to cover the back end of the base for spells, really. Um, so there's the hounds, there's the loons behind, nice and spread out. And then um, this person not expecting the skelly spell on the queen, really. So there's no uh, defenses there to cover her, no bomb towers or anything. She's exposed and nice and patient, though. Doesn't drop the skelly spell too early, doesn't let any cannons kill the queen, or even the queen, um, you don't want her to defend herself too well. So it has the poison on the queen to slow her down so she can't shoot the skeletons off as quickly. Then you notice that heal, typically you can use your hastes and your rages 
um, before and then this heel the back end that's really all you need to do you don't need a haste on top of the heel because the heel will keep them up for long enough um, plus these back end loons are even a nicer but basically it comes with those four air defenses the pathing is good has some core defenses to guide those loons through the Tesla's all in the middle there making the loon, la loon pathing really easy so um, I, something that we don't see a lot you know coming at the base you know all four air defenses just straight at them not getting anything with his heroes besides some wizard towers archer towers and a nice skelly spell on the queen good stuff there nice uh, war to a true hero making the highlight reel twice here it looks like base number 25 is going to be the last one for us um, in this video let's take a look did i write down the wrong base here oh our base 25 okay i'm showing one of their attacks um <laughs> That happens sometimes. Sometimes you gotta show some good attacks by the other clan, especially when it uses Dragon, Silent Knight here, um, pulling off some good stuff and uh, dropping some archers. This is underrated. Those archers on the outside of the base, that, t if you have free buildings, take it out as cheaply as possible. Time, not a huge issue um, on this type of attack on a Town Hall 9 base. So, is able to. Uh, to get those archers and let them kind of you know go out and uh, start taking out buildings especially because he has other phases to do so the those buildings don't have to be down until the last until at least like a minute and a half into the attack when the dragons are heading through the base so it can go ahead and get them going ahead of time and uh, by the time you know well by this time they're already getting these buildings down a tesla popped on the back uh or the top of the base there so one thing wasn't expecting there but uses the queen and the king to grab gets one air defense was hoping for two with those wall breaks um to let the queen or the king in there but is not able to uh path into that other one however the queen actually goes up to the to the top right of the base there and grabs that um that second air defense um in a different location actually nice poison on the witch by the way gotta kill the witch because those skeletons are so annoying for your dragons to have to take out um but uh, actually a few skeletons are going to be up and the dragons have to kind of go through one by one and take them out when they're not close enough together. So that's kind of annoying. But these dragons at Town Hall 9, they have a lot of hit points. If you rage them up, they're doing a lot of damage. And they it's tough for the Town Hall 9 point defense to eat through them, especially when there's not many storages in the base. Once that CC goes down, it's pretty much all defenses th through the core. And uh, that makes it a lot easier to use dragons and to use like miners at Town Hall 10 when you don't have a lot of storages in the core. You're just getting defenses uh, with those troops. So nice haste loon right there to grab that last air defense and then that one more rage which he doesn't really even need uh, to finish off the top part of this base so good stuff to silent knight there uh you know just grab a few air defenses if the base calls for it, you know if you have the nice pathing if you have not many defenses in the core and you can grab a few air defenses with your heroes and you can grab a few with some hasted loons somewhat similar to town hall 10 actually um but the funnel was not done by the heroes for the dragons it was done by archers and um, I think there was a lava hound in there somewhere. I think I, I think he came in with a hound on the bottom. Is that right? I don't know. I was kind of spacing out, but nice stuff for sure there. Let's uh, let's end this one. And uh, thank you guys for watching. That's gonna do it. Just three nice uh, variety type town hall nine attacks to show. And um, yeah, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. I talked last video not sh about not being sure if I if we have a bye week or not for CWL. I'm starting to assume we we do have a buy. I'm, I would it's either this week or next week. I think it might be this week um, because no one's nagging me to make my new base in leadership. So that typically is a good sign that we have that extra week of time to build a base. So yeah, um, if we do have a buy, um, you guys will just see some regular videos. Then we'll get back to some CWL content um, for the next week that we when we come back off the buy. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bisect the Tron out.